quote. Pretty good debate here. Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. Rachel Campos Duffy is a Fox News contributor as well. And ladies, good day to both of you. I, it's a gratuitous shot at what we do here. Okay, the bars, the restaurants. I'm getting tweets from people saying Cheerios and Bud Lights. I watch you every day. Um, we, we can debate this, but I think this point has, we've gone over this now for eight years. I think, Leslie, the bigger point that he's making in this without stating it, is that Hillary Clinton failed to go out and reach voters in a way that her husband did effectively for eight years, and that's why Trump's president. Start there, go. I agree with you. I, I mean, I'm a Democrat, but you have to look at facts. And it's not just the failure of the candidate. Uh, it's the failure of the party, failure of the campaign. Remember that former President Clinton, her own husband, had said, do not disregard the very disenfranchised feeling among the white working class and those voters. Yet, what, how many times did she go to Wisconsin? And forgetting James Carville's message, it's the economy, stupid. There was not a strong economic message. Uh, trade was definitely an issue. And then when we look at the number of people who stayed home, whether they were Bernie or Bust, whether they were African Americans, or whether they were millennials, uh, those are the true reasons, uh, certainly not this network. Uh, Rachel, here is one of the quotes uh, from the president. We spent a lot of time uh, focused on international policy and national policy, and less time being on the ground, and when we're on the ground, we do well. This is why I won Iowa. Wow, that, that's reaching back to 2008. He did another interview right. where he talked about going deep into Southern Illinois to introduce some uh, uh, when he was running for the Senate. He was clearly making the case that he sold himself and Clinton did not. What's your take on that? Such denial from Leslie and from President Barack Obama. Um, this was not about the campaign. This was not about the candidate. This was about the policies. It wasn't about what was playing in the bars and the diners and the Rust Belt um, on the television. It was about the policies that were causing those diners and bars to shut down or Obamacare, which was causing them to lay off workers um, in those bars and restaurants. Uh, this was a policy failure. This was a repudiation after eight years of the Rust Belt giving the Democrats a shot at economic at their version of economic policy which was big government and them coming out and saying no nope, we're gonna give the presidency to a businessman somebody who's pro-growth who cares about trade who cares about the economy who's gonna fight for me and do exactly what he's doing right now um, in Indiana with carrier getting on the phone fighting for American jobs this was a repudiation of Obama he's trying to pass the buck on a campaign which granted the campaign mm. uh, was not great the candidate wasn't great but they out by gazillions of dollars, um, had the media on their side. Uh, this was about policy. I get not it. Messaging. Okay, Leslie, what about that? Well, for, first of all, Rachel, I, I don't know if you didn't hear me. I don't agree with the president, so I don't understand how we can both be wrong and on the same page. I don't think it has to do with what was on television. But you blame, uh, the, but you blame uh, the campaign and no, you blame No, no, no. I'm policy. looking at the facts. I am looking at the facts. Look and at it's, the it's not, and it, I do not blame, I do not feel it was a reflection of President Obama, quite frankly, because I feel it was really more of a reflection of Hillary Clinton, of definitely we saw left and right with the success of Bernie Sanders and certainly the success of President President-elect Trump that people wanted anti-establishment, they wanted outsiders, they wanted change. We also saw that trade was huge, and we also saw that the white-collar workers did feel disenfranchised, as former President Clinton had talked about, and we saw that that was ignored I tell by, you, the Leslie, you know, to, by the candidate, by the campaign, and by the you, party. I mean, the whispers out of Brooklyn is that they failed to connect there. Tim Ryan, who failed in his bid to unseat Nancy Pelosi, said this rather um, enlightening comment 10 days ago. I think even our members from the coastal areas recognize that we are not a national party right now. There's, you, we can't claim to be. They know that if we don't get the middle of the country, that we're never going to be in, back in the majority. Net loss, eight years, 63 seats in the House, Rachel. <laughs> Obama has decimated this this party, the Democrat Party, with his policies, with this big government, progressive, socialist policies. The Rust Belt does not want it. There's also one thing that he got right in that Rolling Stone interview that, that some of this came from. He talked about the cultural divide. There is a cultural divide. Democrats, I live in the Rust Belt. Democrats who live here agree with uh, uh, Trump, not just on trade and economics and pro-growth and business, but they agree with him on, on guns. They agree with him on his position on the on the American flag burning um, there is a huge cultural divide and what did the Democrats do they went and instead of electing that guy uh, for their leader 
leadership. They went with 70-year-old left-wing liberal San Francisco, same old thing, uh, Nancy Pelosi. This party is in denial, and they are ignoring the voices okay, from Leslie, within, and they're going to be word. in the wilderness for a long time. Oh, last word. Thank you, Bill. Uh, very quickly, I am one of the liberal Democrats who thought that a change was a good idea. And and it basically, look, you know, when you're when you don't have the majority in the Senate, you thought you get when you didn't get the White House and you've lost seats within the minority in the House. And that has happened under the leadership of Nancy Pelosi. Maybe it's time to look for a change going forward. And somebody from a Rust Belt state uh, like you just talked about, as opposed to the state where I am here uh, in California. But as we've seen, okay. not just with Pelosi, we've also seen it on the right with Ryan and with Boehner. Uh, the, these parties seem to go back to uh, the candidate that they had before as a leader, and right. I'm not sure it's best for Democrats. Part of it forward. is Fox News in every bar and restaurant in big chunks of the country. We wish that were the case. Bring it more. Leslie, thank you. <laughs> Rachel, thanks to you as well. Plenty more to debate in the thank future. You, thank you, ladies.